Pro-Iraqi government forces target the last remnants of ISIL in western Mosul. Despite the announcement of victory by the Iraqi Prime Minister on Monday, Iraqi government forces say they are still clearing the final few ISIL fighters from the old city. The destruction is almost total. Scholars say by the 8th century, Mosul was the most important city in ancient Mesopotamia. But many of its ancient buildings are no more. The UN says at least a billion dollars is needed to rebuild just basic infrastructure. Around a million people fled the fighting. Many of them are living in camps like these. There are around 73,000 people living in camps in this area like this one. This particular camp, 6,000 people here, all of them have fled from western Mosul. And it's when you speak to some of the people here that you really get a sense of the fear and the suffering that they experienced when trying to flee the fighting. Bassam Bella says his son was killed by a mortar as he and his family of seven tried to escape. I was frantically trying to save his life at the ISIL hospital. After he died, I had no choice but to bury him in an unmarked grave in a deserted area as we fled. Omar Hossein says he was stopped by ISIL as he tried to escape. Mortars were raining down on us as we tried to flee. We ran into an ISIL checkpoint. They said, are you trying to go to the land of the infidel? They said, we will give you 10 seconds to disappear. When we ran, they started firing at us. The two men with me were killed, and I was hit in the leg. I crawled into an alley. Omar's four children have lived most of their lives under ISIL. There are countless others like them who still do in Syria and Iraq. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Hassan Sham Camp, Northern Iraq.